So you say the Ravens don't have enough help at the receiver position? Really? We need to move gloves off. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. In steps this guy, the future heir apparent to Grump. Let's go. So on his first play, this guy here is guarding Mark Andrews. And what's going to happen is John Brown's going to come here, set this screen on him. He's going to act like this dude's jamming him up, but he's really just setting the screen on him. Andrews will come up the field, go around that pick, and run a little rail route. Now, I don't know if some people would consider this routes, but this is definitely smart route running. Watch John Brown. And look at the cut right off right off of that. John Brown not really trying to run a route. He just he letting the guy jam him just to set a screen for Andrews. And that's that's being selfless. It's one of the things uh, John Brown didn't get a lot of com uh, compliments for. I feel like he kind of quit down the end, but this is early in the season and when Joe's still a quarterback, so you can kind of see, you know, he's still a team guy at the time. Andrews comes off that, and Joe put it where it needs to be. Right there. Look at the hands catch. Hands catch. And he, basically, Andrews going to be our second slot receiver, in my opinion. You get a little extra yet. Now you have Mark right here on the one yard line. And again, uh, I don't say he had the greatest routes, but he's a good, smart route runner. He's basically going to come in like he's running a crossing route, pivot, and come out. This route called a whip route. He's really going to catch it one yard short, but going to lay across the line for the touchdown. Again, Mark's right here. He's going to run this little whip route and come back out for a touchdown. Now it looks like he's going across. This guy tries to jump it, pivots, it's open. Now, a little slight thing that you may not notice is, the initial pivots, look, he's a yard or two deep in the end zone. In order to uh, not let the DB undercut this route, he shortens it. So as he comes back to the ball, as he comes back out, he shortens it. So now he's about two yards deep. Now he's about one yard deep. Now he's on the goal line. Now he catches it right on top of the goal line, which makes it an automatic touchdown, as long as he catches it. As long as he catches it, control is automatic touchdown because he's on the line. Now Mark has a simple out route on this play right here. This is uh, him right here. I'm gonna play it through and let you see what go on. Runs a little quick out, catches with the hands, touchdown. Now, again, this is not like excellent route running, but it gives you an example of what he can do for us. And a quick point, a quick thing I want to point out is um, selflessness of the team at the time. Um, and again, this is about Mark Andrews, but let's talk about Michael Crabtree and his selflessness uh, at this play. And we talked about the John Brown a, a player go too. So if you look at Crabtree right here, now this is cover two, and when the ball is snapped, you're going to see the the DB jump outside and give uh, Crabtree the inside lane. And what he's supposed to do is the DB that he is is. Uh, jam the receiver inside and anything that comes in the flat he has it Crabtree knows this that's why he decides to do what I'm about to show you so the ball snap Crabtree notices he jumps outside because he has a little stutter and goes up so now Crabtree knows that the cornerback has the flats so he's gonna turn and run directly and basically face guard the, the DB so he can't jump Andrews's out route and possibly knock the play down or possibly, you know, get a big hit on Andrews. So I'm going to show you at that point when, when Crabtree does that. Right now, Crabtree just turns and face calls that guy, protecting this route. He's protecting this route right here. Now, by the time Lattimore comes off, it's almost too late because Andrews has the ball in his hand. And now it's uh, Andrews and Lattimore at the goal line. And I'll take the tight end every time. Easy. Selfless play. Crabtree probably won't get any credit for that, but that's part of him being a touchdown. That's part of his touchdown. Protecting the route, Andrews catching it, and getting up the field. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up, and while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Next play, you'll see Andrews right here. Let me play it and let you see what happens. And it's funny because uh, just this morning, I saw this same exact play on uh, Edgar Allen's page when he was talking about the uh, guard and tackle counter. You know, Andrews comes over, you know, gets the catch on the crossing route. Now, let me back it up and kind of explain to you what happens. 
But Andrews is right here. He's the, the outside tight end. We got two extra tight ends here. This is Hurst. This is Andrews. What's going to happen is these guys are going to fake counter up front. And, you know, if you want to know about the counter stuff, you can look at Edgar Allen's um, video. I'll put a link over here in the corner to that. Uh, but these guys fake counter. And, you know, linebackers go with it. Now, but this is the good part about it. This is the smart part about it. These two guys bit on the counter. Hayden Hurst has this shallow crossing route. Andrews has what, in my terminology, would be an over route. Watch how Hayden gains ground as Lamar comes out, and well, as the play in general develops down toward the bottom of the screen. So now he's behind the linebackers now. So if he was to come flat, he'd run into this guy or this guy. Now watch how he gains ground. Right now he's at the 35-yard line as he come across at the 40. At the 43, 44, 45-yard line. And so, as Lamar and Hurst pull all these linebackers up, Andrews just gains ground. Just gains ground, gains ground, gains ground. Now, wide open. Good throw by Lamar, wide open. So, he catches at the, what, 45? So, he gained another 10 yards once he realizes. Because right now, he knows he's going to be open. All he got to do is get to the open spot. Especially with this safety having to go with Chris Moore running this deep route. So, he knows he's open. Just get away from those guys. Smart route running. Not the greatest of route runner. You don't have to be a tight end. Just run smart routes. Get in open spots. Catch it for a, what, 25? About a 25-yard game. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts. Uh, stands for Film, then More Film. Or Fruit, Tomatoes, and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your Afterlease shirt. For all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans and I appreciate you. Salute. All right, next we have uh, Andrews. Where is he? Uh, trips right. Andrews is right here, the number three receiver. And they're just going to run all verticals. Andrews with a big catch. Big catch. Big catch. All hands on this, too. Let's watch it again. All hands. Right there. Good concentration on the ball. All hands. Good finish. Good finish. Now, as much as, um, like again, this video is about Mark Andrews, but as wa as I watch this stuff, other things stand up, stand out. Uh, yes, Mark Andrews catches this ball. Yes, he, he he catches it in traffic. But this throw by Joe Flacco is curse word amazing. Watch why he fits in there with the zoom on it. It's, it don't have air on it. Throws a bullet. I would say a dime. Perfect. Right there. Uh, I, you know, I was one of the guys that, that kind of talked about Joe when, you know, he was playing like lackluster but man I gotta give props what props do this is an amazing throw amazing throw okay back to what we're talking about okay Andrews has um this is not this is not even a linebacker this is like a safety I guess they're in nickel or whatever this is a safety on him and he you know just beats the guy and don't beat him by much but beat him enough that Flacco throws an amazing ball man I can't I know this is an Andrews film, but look at his throw. He makes throws like this in Denver next year. It's, never mind. All right. <laughs> Andrews, good. Good catch. Our, our other slot guy along with uh, Willie Sneed. And, you know, I think this is the next budding star tight end in the league. I really do. I really do. He runs pretty darn good for a tight end. Okay to... I'm going to say better than average. He runs better than average for a tight end, and he catches the ball like a receiver. I think I, this is play four I've shown, and all four of them have been hands catches. None of them have been body catches. But I make sure you tweet Ian Raven and let him know I shouted out, team, keep it clean in this video. All right, next play, Andrew's going to have a little vertical route. They're going to uh, play action like a uh, one-back power and um, go from there. Let's watch it. 
And I'm not going to even lie. I, I liked it so much. I just drew it up myself. And I think I'm going to add this for a late season ad. One of the things where it's late in the year and teams hadn't saw it against us. I think I'm going to add this in there. But, again, let's, let's see Andrews. Fire off the ball. You know, they beat so hard on the play action. Hurdle a guy. Ain't very many tight ends this athletic. Not this athletic. So, what happens is, these two guys right here are the key. These two linebackers. And because the O-line is going to show power, they going to flood it. Flood it. Because we run so well. Or because Baltimore runs so well. And this is, Joe's still even, even still in the game here. So, you know, even with Joe in there, we still run the ball hard enough to where Denver just had to respect this. Watch the linebackers flow up. Now, again, Andrews don't run great routes. He just runs smart routes. He runs right into the open zone. Right there. So he's technically open on step two or three. But has a way for the play fake. Now he's buck naked open. Buck naked open. So, there it is right there. I, again, I still think this guy going to do some of these same things this year because we should be, I, I hate to say the term run heavy, but run oriented. And he will still be able to do these type of things, especially when you got respect Lamar running the ball too. So he should be even more open on things like this because, you know, even though Joe play fake that you really don't have to think that Joe may be running this ball. And again, this Andrew's wide open right here. About 30 yards. Let's see. On the 48. So by the time he's tackled, we're on the 15. So that's what, 48, 38, 28, uh, almost 30 yards. Almost 30 yards. Almost 30 yards. Now we're going to end this video with one of the, the better routes and catches of Mark Andrews' rookie season. Um, not going to show you too much of it because, you know, I want the Illuminati to get me. So let's, let, let's run it right here. Uh, this is Andrews. Right there. He's going to widen, then buzz across the seam, and watch this on time throw. Widen the guy out, come across, dying. Now, we all know what happened from here on out. So, I ain't too much more for me to say about it. Uh, Mark Andrews is going to be expected to carry the load, you know, for us as, a, as a, I think it's our main tight end. I'm looking for anywhere from 50 to 70 catches from, from Mark Andrews, especially with uh, the way our guys going to be, uh, our way our team's going to be run oriented. And uh, we all know what happened on this play, and we look forward to a bunch of other plays like this from Andrews. And um, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you um, hit me up you know, in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as And before you go, click the link. In the description to the Teespring site, get your After Lee shirt, Ravens Roundup, or any of the other products that I have over there in the Teespring store. This is Coach Evans. In the meantime, in between time, I'm out. And before you go, make sure you check out our sponsors, Bites by Beyond Berries. Here's their commercial. This is Coach Evans, and one of my favorite cheat treats are these small batch artisan bites by Beyond Berries. I'm selective about my chocolate, and they never disappoint. With each bite, it was an explosion in my mouth. Check out their enrobed, molded, infused, and dipped chocolate for yourself or for gifting. Bites by Beyond Berries. It's more than chocolate. It's an experience.